As a member of the Banking Committee, I tell you, I have seen uh, Americans confronted with some of the most startling and concerning news our economy uh, has seen in our lifetimes. Banks vanishing, homes lost, the stock market plummeting. But it didn't happen overnight. It didn't even happen over this weekend or in the past month. It happened over the past eight years as Republicans systematically removed accountability from our financial markets and let bad loans turn into an economic catastrophe. In my judgment, unfettered greed and determined neglect are at the root of this. Regulators who have decided we don't intend to regulate and boasted about it. We don't intend to regulate. Well, now we see the consequences of that. We've been watching as families struggle, businesses struggle, communities struggle with everything from the housing crisis to gas prices to access to health care, uh, and now the latest in a series of issues facing Wall Street. Uh, what this means to average Americans when they wake up and look at the headlines in their newspaper is once again their family is being hit. We have seen policies for the past eight years where we have been asked to take care of the big guy and left it to the little guy to take care of paying it back. What's happening to all of those little guys across the country is they're losing their jobs, they're paying more for gas, they're paying more for health care if they can get it at all, and they're worried about sending their kids to college. The unemployment rate rose from 5.7 percent in July to 6.1 percent last month. That translates to 592,000 more Americans on the unemployment line, a line that is now 9.4 million people long. It would be great, and it would be a real new day for me, if high-ranking officials from the White House called me and said, we'd like to sit down and talk to you about the middle class. Middle class is hurting. Let's sit down and talk with you. Let us sit down and talk with you so we can figure out what needs to be done to help the middle class. But I have never, never received such a phone call. We've got to come to a recognition that the fundamentals of the economy are not where they need to be. You can't look at 6.5% unemployment or 8% among Latinos in this country and say, the fundamentals of the economy are strong. You can't look at uh, millions of Americans who are in foreclosure in the eye and tell them that the fundamentals of the economy are strong. You can't look at the greatest deficit and the greatest debt the nation has ever had and look at the average American and tell them the fundamentals of the economy are strong. And you can't look at people losing their home and fighting in the process of having us trying to pass the housing bill, which we want to see enforced as of October 1st when it goes into law fully, fully, to start stemming the hemorrhage. You can't look at us and say that, in fact, uh, you think the fundamentals of the economy are strong when families are losing their home, and you can't even remember how many homes you own. Maybe from your vantage point, the fundamentals of the economy are strong when you own seven homes, but for people who are losing theirs, the fundamentals of the economy certainly aren't. We are in serious economic trouble. The people at the bottom are feeling it. We as Democrats know what we need to do. We need to invest in those families again. We need to get them back to work. We know that the policies of the last eight years have failed. Every American family is feeling it today. We want to pass an economic stimulus package that takes care of the little guy make sure we extend unemployment benefits for those who don't have jobs today so that they have the ability to put food on the table and remain stable until they can get a job. We need to create jobs and we need to do it quickly. We need a bailout of middle class and we need to do it quickly. And we know we can do it because we did it under President Clinton. I hope that this Congress can pass a stimulus package, but I hope even more that we have a change in November that puts back, back in place an administration that gets up every day and says, what are we doing to help average American job families go to work and feel secure again? Thank you.